Hey, what's up everybody? This is Clayton Gonzalez with Go Analytics, and today I'm gonna to show you how to connect to web data in Power BI. So let's head over to my laptop and I'll show you. I'm looking here at the uh, Statistics Canada's website, uh, and I found some data here on apprenticeship uh, registrations that look pretty interesting that I wanna create some visualizations from. So how can I get this data without actually having to download uh, the data in and then connecting to Power BI? Well, there's a simple way of just using the URL to actually connect to the data right from Power BI. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, copy this URL right from my um, browser here. And then I'm gonna head over to uh, the Power BI desktop app and uh, the way to connect to website data is uh, I'll just expand this uh, get data menu here and we'll navigate to web. So we'll see here uh, connecting to web data. So I'll click that. It's going to open up this little menu box where I can type in my URL. So I'll just paste that URL that I got from my browser and I'll click OK. And it'll pop up now here uh, a preview now there as you see here there's a, a couple different tables that uh, the that the Power BI desktop app uh, picked up let's take a look at the first one so we'll click this to, to have a look at it so this looks like the data that we were looking at as you'll see here the the trades uh, you will see the year and then the numbers uh, it looks a little bit wacky but let's have a look at the other table so if we take a look at table one, uh, we'll see that uh, Power BI picked up the footnotes as a table. Uh, this is not really what we want to use, so I'll just ignore that. But this is the data that we actually want to visualize. So I'll select this one. And one thing to notice here is that the data is completely wacky. Uh, we definitely need to do some cleaning. You'll see these columns are called column one, column two. Uh, and they don't represent what we want. Uh, in, in fact, we want the years actually to be the, the columns here, uh, as well as it's in a tabular form, and we would want to, uh, to uh, sorry, it's actually in a matrix form, and we would want to convert that into a tabular form for working it with it in Power BI. So definitely this data, I would not just load it to the model because it would be very dirty, very hard to work with. Uh, we would actually go into transform our data and do all of those cleaning uh, steps that I mentioned before, uh, which is not in the scope of this video. Uh, but if you uh, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned, we will do some videos on how to clean up that data, you know, turning that matrix into a tabular form promoting uh, the headers so that we have the, the columns uh, actually named what we want them to be. So stay tuned. Make sure to hit the like button if you like this video, and we'll see you on the next video.